Ta-da! Chris Cathead Reynolds, your fearless anti-leader, coming in with a sore throat and some uh, excitement for you. Let's see. What's new in Cat Army? Uh, well, Alan Bukoff was Cat King, and I thought he did a great job. His first edict, is that right? Edict? Decree. Yeah. Decree. Decree. That's what I keep trying to say. Uh, uh, that's me trying to do this in the background. Uh, <laughs> his first decree was that Cat Army should be more groovy, which I agree with because we have so many elements that we've developed in C3 about consciousness and sort of psychedelic patterns, and but more really about consciousness that uh, I want to see in Cat Army. Uh, eventually we you know we're gonna print c3 so let's just sort of maybe we'll just i don't know if we'll let c3 keep going maybe we'll abolish it or change its name or something but uh let's bring all that stuff into cat army you know uh you can't really we have a strong occult element in cat army and i don't think you can do magic without mindfulness you know uh uh in liber four Crowley talks a ton about uh, uh, awareness, really, and the mind first as being essential, meditation as being essential to doing magic. <clears throat> uh, all of this is magic. All of this is rituals. I see scores kind of as rituals, you know, uh, and they're rituals that, that go through time, you know. I could do... Uh, a score uh, by Yoko Ono, or I could do my own version. But uh, I, I like when people do something new. <laughs> I see the educational value in, in carrying it on. Um, but I, I just want to see more new work. Um, uh, and I, th I think with this, we're going to do this more. We're going to have uh, different people be Cat King. I think we'll get more decrees, and that's like a score, you know, go be more groovy. And uh, in his case, he posted this really great thing at the end, too, uh, about, um, it was had a Carlos Castaneda quote and uh, about being nobody when you're a seer. Uh, you realize you're nobody. And, uh, and he incorporated humor in that. Um, it was very... It was beautiful. It was beautiful uh, how many things it intersected to accomplish that. Uh, and then feeling groovy <laughs> from Simon and Garfunkel. Uh, but, um, uh, and then Michael Orr will be Cat King uh, next week, I believe. And Tamara Winham will be Cat Queen uh, sometime in December, which I'm excited about because uh, she's such a sincere person and I think we need some sincerity in in this art world that has become too postmodern I'll say it's just too postmodern you need some directness sometimes or we're gonna end up with a bunch of jokes about how the world ended uh, sometimes people gotta actually say what they mean um, and you definitely see this in the occult community uh, that a lot of the art is directly what somebody's trying to say you know it's not uh, it's not ironic, it's not a deconstruction. And uh, I think that's what attracts me to including that work in Cat Army. Um, let's see, have I missed anything? What else? Uh, we're, we will be doing the Reverend Show uh, in November. I'm excited about that. Uh, it's our show uh, dedicated to women and uh, I am... Uh, excited to curate more for you. Uh, I see so many uh, great artists out there uh, that could exhibit more. And uh, I'm perfectly willing to go out there and pitch for people. Um, uh, people deserve to have their work shown. I understand working outside the gallery system. I did it for years, but uh, I also think that when you exhibit, you... <coughs> You're showing to an audience, and there's an interaction between the art and the audience that is quite amazing. Uh, 
uh, I do want to see uh, Cat Army promote happenings uh, and more situationist type events outside the galleries eventually. It's just now a gallery works better because it gives us a chance to meet somewhere that's reasonable. But it'd be, it, you know, it'd be, uh, we did uh, the Staten Island Ferry uh, at uh, New York Flux Fest. Uh, what happened? Oh, I'm worried about the, the, the Fluxus police. That's what the event was called. I can't change the name of the event. <laughs> Don't worry about the Fluxus police. Fuck them. Okay. It, it was called Flux Fest New York. Whether it was inspired by Fluxus or whatever, who I don't know. I uh, I liked the event on the Staten Island Ferry because it was closer to a happening or a situationist gathering. You know, it was one of those events where where there were some some non artist participants. You know, and you can see my my banana video and other people did performances too. Um, but uh, I guess I'm thinking of that because I'm thinking of how, how power breaks down. And I want to play with that more and more in Cat Army. I want to play with uh, who's in charge at any given time. Maybe we can change it back and forth. Uh, and, uh, and just sort of let things develop in new ways, new structures of power. You know, uh, I've been reading Bruno Latour and he mentions uh, uh, power tokens, uh, which is, you know, it's how the society is structured every, every time somebody's in charge. It gets passed on uh, forever, you know. Uh, an object in motion tends to stay in motion, becomes true for power, even though power is somewhat an illusion. But it's a performance and, and it gets sent down the line, you do this, you do this, you do this forever, you know. Uh, made me think of uh, how, how many lawns I see in America, and how many fathers must have said, mow your lawn, you know. And then the kid grew up and he said to his kid, mow, mow the lawn, and maybe you should be growing corn or sunflowers or something, you know. <laughs> but... Uh, uh, you know, as we as we start to uh, with scores, you can really mess up power structures really fast, because I could just hand you the score and you could tell someone else to do it, and it flies all over the place. It's more fluid, a happening too. You know, um, so let's try out some new dynamics, uh, because the society as it's structured leads to brutality, violence. Uh, it promotes sexism, racism, everything. You know, and all these things are just handed down forever. It's why we can't get rid of them. You know, it's getting really tired. You, uh, we don't need to just educate people. We do need to keep doing that. But we need to try whole new different ways of, of people coming up with what they're doing and what's acceptable to be doing. So uh, as far out as that is, I'm going to leave you with that. Uh, let's mess some shit up and cat army. All right. Love you all.